Great place, went with an Elsica. Saw a real opportunity with this year's Tour de Yorkshire to creatively respond through kind of art stuff and through heritage stuff. And so we put out two commissions to start to explore some of the work that we were going to do. The first of which was a commission we put out for a huge bit of land art that would happen at Wentworth Woodhouse that was based on a story that would really make the point of just how large it is, the longest fronted house uh, in, in the country. And also really kind of challenge what perceptions are Rotherham, because Wentworth Woodhouse is part of Rotherham and the land art would in a sense go to a national and a world audience to celebrate that. The recent art commission was um, for the Great Place team at Elsica and Wentworth and it was to create a piece of work on the lawn at Wentworth Woodhouse that celebrated both the Tour of Yorkshire and also some of the stories behind the house at Wentworth itself. The starting point for the creative process was a really interesting little story from the house's past um, where guests in its heyday were given confetti to leave trails back to their rooms. You know, just the scale, the scale and the size of the house meant that people could really easily get lost. And there were so many stories in that. There were so many sort of visual references that it was such a lovely starting point. You know, to have these colour pathways coming out of the front of the house that all led to different stories from the house's history. Um, it was just a dream to work with. What was really nice about the process was spending time on site. We were always having conversations with staff, visitors, people who knew that area really well. And we could kind of adapt the design to take on board some of those stories. For example, you know, there was uh, one person who, um, her relationship with, with Wentworth was when it was the sort of sports college and was talking about the reference of, of playing hockey on the front lawns. So, you know, straight away, it's really easy then to sort of adapt the design to include that and I think that's really nice, that connection with one person who then will, will have that kind of relationship with the piece of work is really nice. The Landmark Collective really enjoy um, those big commissions and, and working outdoors and having that time at Wentworth was just really precious. The second commission we did was with another local artist, vintage textile artist Gemma Nima. And Elsica, the village, has a history of having royal visits. And we used that inspiration, that heritage as a starting point for our thinking of what we could do to kind of really get galvanise the whole community of the village of Elsica to welcome the Tour de Yorkshire and really to come together as a community. Gemma worked with local schools, volunteers, businesses to make huge amounts of handmade bunting and banners and Yorkshire sayings and installations that decorated a whole section of the village. And in a sense, it was creating a space for an amazing performance to happen on the day, which was people and place. Well, the inspiration was uh, working with archive images of Elsica when uh, the King visited in the 1900s and we used that as a starting point with ideas with decoration so we've kind of transformed the image into a royal welcome but to welcome the Tour de Yorkshire in. My approach to this was kind of to bring an element of humour to this and to celebrate all things Yorkshire but with a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek element so we thought about creating banners with traditional sayings and giant bloomers and it was just a case of you know raising smiles and I think that's what, what it did. Um, I think it was nice because I learnt new techniques as well so we got help with other artists to teach basic screen printing skills and then that were then shared to the volunteers so it was like a skill share as well for me and the volunteers. We were delighted that over three and a half thousand people came out in Elsica they came together, we had stories of neighbours talking to each other that didn't know each other, people saying the best day Elsica's seen for the past 40 years, and we'd done Elsica proud. And for us, you know, that is how you measure success. You know, is it bringing people together? Is it making a difference to them? Are they feeling proud in it? The most important thing for me was actually getting to know the community and it was beautiful in a sense to, to hear their stories and 
learn about their trials and what they've overcome and how this has helped them and given them hope and really lifted their spirits as well. I think what's been amazing about these two commissions, these two projects uh, that Great Place, uh, Wentworth and Elsica have, have supported and made happen in partnership with the artists is that they have set a real benchmark for quality, for things that are embedded in the place, for things that make iconic bits of artwork. There were a real sense of community and it was really nice so everybody became friends and they said that that hasn't been happening here so they're just really excited that they can come together in the village and create. The land arts that was done by the Landmark Collective those images went around the world to 172 countries. There was a live audience of about 10 or 11 million that watched it. They had features on the BBC One show that showed their process and followed that journey. So in a sense, they act as a huge advert, a, a huge kind of promotion of what this place is and actually what makes Barnsley, Rotherham, Wentworth, Elsica, South Yorkshire special. You know, the tour de Yorkshire uh, is, has really increased this kind of work across the borough in the last four years. The sort of marriage between that and heritage I think is really interesting. I think it's a really interesting time where you've got all this heritage and all this, this history that's there and I think looking at new ways to tell those stories. So I just think you know, big cultural sort of projects and big cultural sort of relationships with, with our heritage um, provide us with fantastic opportunities to reach a much wider audience in really engaging, fun ways. I really hope this process and this piece of work A, puts Rotherham on the map to a wider audience, but more importantly, shows the, the people and the decision makers of Rotherham the impact that this kind of work has. I kind of see a bit of a shift just in terms of responses and, and kind of reaction to this work. The feedback we've had online and in person has been out of this world. You know, you hook on to those stories. You know, there was a woman in Elsica who recently her partner had passed away and she came out to us as even before the, the event had happened when we were installing all the decorations. And she went, this has given me a real boost. It's lifted me actually. And I think that's what the great place project needs to do. It's giving a place a boost, it's lifting people and it's making a difference. <laughs>